How's it going? Welcome back to The Den. I'm Tobin. Mail call. Phoenix Arson Accoutrements. I've been waiting for this one. I actually received this in the mail on Tuesday. It is now Thursday. I've been wanting to open this bad boy. I haven't opened it. I've been wanting to do it on video. I've known this is coming for a couple of weeks or that it would be coming. And so like I've been chomping at the bit to open it, but I wanted to do it on video and give you guys my, you know, true first impressions. The all stainless steel 316 Starling V3. You may have seen I have the V2, that's the aluminum, the 7075 aluminum. This one is slightly different in that the geometry of the head has been changed. A couple of thick layers of paper on this one. Uh, geometry has been changed a little bit to make it more efficient. What else has been changed? Oh, they removed the nubs. I'll put a picture right up here of what the nubs were. I talked about that in my video for... Um, kind of better in my video for the v2 my aluminum steady paper don't think i've seen paper before for those who don't know doug and fran are spending a portion of their time in massachusetts with douglas's mother um is a temporary stay and he has the lab up there but of course most of their operations are still out of um phoenix something i always like doing like when i buy stuff off of ebay and other places and, and people include newspaper i sometimes like to read it and also see when and where it's from so if you don't mind let's real quick do that august 3rd through 9th of 2023 so just last week today is the now 9th of august right so this is a very fresh copy and as we are hometown news, you can find them at reminder.com. We got East Long Meadow High School alum. Hey, we just talked about alum. We're talking about alumni. Drafted by D backs, the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's a free paper. Um, I was trying to see. Since I mentioned the D backs, I imagine it's out of Arizona. Anywho, I'll check this out more. Right here we have Dom Secures Funds for Survival Center. Anyways, get on with it, bro. Sheesh, that guy, he is such a freaking squirrel. Well, we're in luck. More paper, but there's no writing on it. This dropped yesterday, Wednesday the 8th, right? Yesterday was the 8th, and it sold out in only a couple of hours. So I reached out to Douglas and told him I hadn't done my first impressions yet. So I'm gonna do my first impressions, but I'm going to wait to do my full review for them to come back in stock. Doug is expecting a restock in about two weeks. So it's gonna give me two full weeks to, um, I think this might be the same box that my aluminum came in. I have it out in the garage. Unfortunately, I didn't think to bring it in. Maybe I'll put a picture of them side by side up here. And it looks like the same foam insert. So I'm going to try and time my full review with the restock. And as fast as it sold out the first go, I expect it to go fast too. It was literally two or three hours and they were all gone. So you have the little sleeve here, just like with the V2. This is a three and a half inch handle. The handle itself um, is 79 grams. And it has the removable flare tip. The top cap is 23 grams. With the V2, the aluminum, there was a one gram difference on the weight. But with this stainless steel, they have managed beautiful they have managed to get the bottom plate and um, of the open comb and the, the standard safety bar the exact same weight 
So here's the top cap and it weighs 23 grams. And this is all 100% 316L stainless steel. The handle, the head, every single inch of this thing is CNC machined stainless steel. Oh, beautiful. Here's the open comb. Uh, wait, I have my aluminum there. Love it. And I, you can see the stubs are, the nubs, he calls them, are gone. So here's the stainless steel. Beautiful polished stainless steel. Here's the aluminum. And the nubs. I know it's probably not going to focus well. Let me see if I can touch it and get to focus. That didn't help. But the, the nubs are right here, picture up here, and those nubs are now gone. Um, it was a guy in the community by the name of Steve, he had commented, I have the V2 and now the V3. Um, and I don't recall anyone else ever saying it, although I imagine Steve isn't alone, um, that this, the nubs on the V1, if you're not careful, will sometimes catch you. So far, I've never had a problem with that, so it looks like Doug addressed it a little bit, but it looks like he's been able to take it even a step further by completely eliminating them with this guy here. So let's put this together real quick. The V2, the 7075, oh, that's beautiful fit. I like that. The V2, the aluminum one, you can get that. It's in stock for $46.95. When the V3 comes back in stock, let's put a, um, a tip on it real quick. So you unscrew it. Those who have never seen it, I always assume that people have seen, I hate to assume. So for those who don't know, the bottom is removable and Doug sells an assortment of colors that you can put on the bottom. I'll put one of these photos I did recently right up there. I'm gonna go with this, I forget what he calls it, this like aqua kinda-ish blue. Almost dropped it, but hey, it's all 316 stainless steel. Let's screw this bad boy together. I love the knurling on this handle. As you can tell, I love the handle recently picked up the new oh god that feels good you guys the overall weight is 130 grams this is a hefty hefty razor <laughs> thank you douglas i didn't say it obviously this was well no let's see there i go assuming again the v3 i i paid for the v2 but the V3 that I just opened was sent to me for review as a gift. I did not pay for it from Doug, Fran, and Hux at Phoenix Shaving. Thank you once again, guys. Gorgeous, polished. I love it. This handle is three and a half inches. It's the same exact length as the ones that you can get on the Ascension. He sells separately, and I bought it for my metaphor. This is the metaphor comes with a three and a half inch, right? Yes. And uh, yeah, I don't want to make it too confusing. So you could put the three and a half inch on here, but I like the three and a, uh, three and a quarter. Or this is a three and a half. I like the three and a quarter on my metaphor. Um, it makes it more just a scotch, more head heavy. And this is a milder razor. So that's why I did that. And I also wanted to have the original metaphor handle on my stainless steel ascension. I'm a schnerd, I'm a PAA fanboy, and I make no, no qualms or secrets about it. I can't wait to give this a shave, guys. This feels amazing in the hands. Can you hear my stubble? Oh, yeah. Love it. So we're going to get a slightly more efficient shave. It's supposed to be the, as you know, is what I read. And it is a gym type razor single edge razor don't make this take too long any longer than i than you know necessary um but i want to thank you guys for joining me 
or utility board just came walking by and it's kind of cute. Oh, focus. She's gonna walk back by in a second. So, anyways, you know, we're just a couple of guys hanging out. Oh, if I get in the way, though, it unfocuses. Come on, where's she go? Oh, she's right there. She's still looking at my neighbor's utility thing. <laughs> Another wet shaving first, right here in Tobin's Den. It must be like in Greek or something. There, there we go. Nothing to see here, folks. Oh, and we can barely see the top of her head. Well, that was fun. I want to thank you guys. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for joining me. Thank you again, Doug and France. Francis, I see. I was so enamored by her that I can no longer speak. Thank you, Douglas, Francis, Huxley, and crew at PAA. I appreciate you guys. I want to appreciate all of you. It's the little big things like random women walking by your den window. I'm going to burn in hell, but I'm going to be in good company. I know it. Y'all take care, and I'll see you real soon. And like I said, give me about two weeks, and I'll have my... I'm going to do it ahead of time. Well, I don't know. I'm such a squirrel. No promises. But I promise, God willing, I'll see you real soon. <laughs> Take care.